Hey, it's Lala Flower Girl. Welcome back to a video in Roblox Islands. Today, I'm just going to do a fun video with using some water tricks and making some structures with waters and just for a bit of fun. So yeah, if, before I get started, if you could like and subscribe, that would be amazing. So there's a few different things that you can do with water apart from just making like a pond or a moat or whatever you want to make. You can make rivers whatever you like but there are some fun tricks that you can do with water as well and I want to show you just a couple that I know of and that friends have shown me so yeah thanks to those friends that have helped me learn these new little tricks okay so back when water first came out there a lot of people worked out that you could swim up waterfalls and stuff so people made waterfalls and they worked out you could swim up so they made elevators so easiest way to make an elevator for water is by putting a something at the bottom so it can be like uh, pretty much anything you could use slabs or whatever I use pebbles because they're a low profile thing you can't really you know notice them too much they're not too intrusive so that's why I use them and then we just need to make a tower so we've got to kind of line it up with this center one so you can't have don't block that center one off but do it over the one next to it and just go up as far as you want and go a long way up if you want but from here you've got that and then you just get your water bucket and you just release it from the top one so let it go from the top and when it hits the bottom it won't spread out because the pebbles are stopping it from spreading out so then you can take out the sand or whatever block you've used in that and now you've got a water elevator and you can just swim up that to whatever you like so that's just an easy way of doing that I used to have it in my original shop as a way to get from one floor to the next so you can make that as tall as you like as long as you can just like keep putting the water on it and keep it under control so that's one fun little one that you can do and then you just press the space button or just move upwards like or jump I guess on mobile if if it works I don't know if it works on mobile but that's how you make an elevator okay so the next one is a kind of like an obby kind of you jump on the slime block and it shoots you up through water and you can go up as high as you like so that one is another tricky one so you'll need to have your slime block there and then we're gonna go up one two I think it's nine it's ten we'll go up ten blocks so go up and we'll try and land up there all right so there we've got our 10 blocks up and now we're going to build a like a, a four by like a two by yeah four block square that's what I'm trying to say so yeah <laughs> do it so it looks like that so there we go so it's four blocks and the um, slime block will be lined up with this corner as long as you got your four there that's fine so then we're going to go down underneath so we need to go underneath it and we need to do four blocks underneath and then from here see these four blocks line up with this top square the vacant spot so with that you need to put in uh, where is it try and get a toilet in there yeah, gotta line it up better there we go so we want the toilet to be in the center now the toilet is a must because that's what's going to stop the water from getting through so from here we just sit on the toilet and put in your water there and there now you wanna once you take the toilet out from here the water will stay there 
so that is how you do that and now we're going to go up to our next level so we're going to go up 10 blocks so count one two three four seven eight i think that was 11. i think that's about right one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. Yeah, that looks about right. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to build out and make our square on top of the last one. So it lines up perfectly with that one. So there. And then we're going to go down three blocks again and build our little platform underneath like that and put our toilet in there and sit on the toilet and make sure we put our water in like that and then we can take out the toilet again and again it's there so we can go up again if you like I'll do another one Oop. can I get up there oh no all right let's do it oh missed it again all right that's better all right I'll do it one more time so we go up 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, is that about 10? <laughs> 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, yeah, that'll do. That's about right. <laughs> and then we do our square again. There we go, then we go down, make our platform underneath. So it's lined up again. And our toilet, get our water, sit down, and then add our two water blocks there and there. And then we can. Oh my gosh <laughs> there we go take that out and now I'll take out the blocks that I used to build on so take them ones out leaving the others there <laughs> those ones and there we go take them out And there we've got our tower that we've built. So we built that. Now we've got our three platforms. So now when we jump up through them and you can keep jumping. And you can put a start flag down here and you can put another platform with a finish flag up higher if you like to see if P how fast people can do it I had one up there but I took it down because I thought it was gonna lag a bit okay so our next one is going to be doing a like a floating water bridge so you're going to start off with some put it wherever you want it so you say you want it a couple of blocks up so you're going to need to put in however long you want it so we'll go down and do about that long and then we'll add two rows of whatever block it doesn't really matter what the block is because you're going to take it out afterwards anyway this is just for the toilets to sit on so you put a line of toilets along 
the path where you want to create the floating water. Okay, I'll do one more there. So that's going to pretty much just be our, our water is going to float above the toilets. So now what we want to do is we want to build up so it's one block above the toilet so like level with the top of the toilet and you want to go around and just frame the top of the toilet just like that and one more there and then back this way so we've got our framework all right so that's our frame and then you get your water and just line it up with the sand there so it's on top of the toilets so the toilets are stopping it from falling down there we go and there go all the way along until you've filled it all in all right now we need to take out the framework so this is what we're going to do we're going to take out these ones that are around the water don't take out the toilets yet leave the toilets there so take them out and here we have our floating water so the water's floating but you can actually take out the toilets now and it should stay there and then you have your water bridge you can use that anywhere and you can jump up into it hang on let me get <laughs> let me jump into it there you go and you can just swim along in your water bridge to get wherever you want to go well, that's a bit of fun and there we have floating water all right and another thing that you know the mechanics of water is really interesting is that you can even put in things like um, a row of trellises like this you could put together and this will also act as a barrier for water so then if you want you could just put one water in there and it will just fill up that little area it won't actually escape anywhere because the the trellis is holding it so i reckon even if you did this you could put in a couple of blocks like this and i actually reckon that this would still work too so if you did that and then we could take out the blocks under it if you can line it up really carefully not to take out anything that you don't want to take out and then there you've got water in between your trellises that's really cool you can do it with anything really um hmm she that's interesting i wonder i wonder and i wonder Hmm, what else have I got that I could put down? Hmm. I wonder if it would work with these here. Would these hold water? That'd be interesting, won't it? Will the water stay in here? This one, I haven't tried this one see if I make a big mess uh, am I gonna make a mess uh, probably will yeah 
maybe let's try where is that my marble get my marble out and maybe just put a couple of bits of sand there let's see if this is gonna make a mess or not <laughs> or if that's gonna hold yeah there you go hold so pretty much anything I think if that you put around it you can make a a candy cane river <laughs> using the trellis or the candy cane fence that's all pretty cool I really like playing around with water and it's really interesting to see what you can create and what you can trick the water into doing so you can also do if you're gonna do glass use glass panes because they will hold the um, water in and you'll still be able to see the water through it so you'll be able to see the water through the glass whereas if you use a glass block so let's have a look glass block if you put a glass block down so if we do this and we put water in it okay you can see there's water in there but if you look through the glass you can't see the water whereas through glass panes you can hmm cool very interesting what else could we do hmm you guys should do some experiments and tell me what other ways that you've learned to trap water and how you control the water uh, let's have a look um, fence posts would hold it um, anything I guess would really hold it as long as it's like you can make a, like a square if you can make a square then anything should hold it even these like slabs slabs should hold it too shouldn't it that should be able to hold some water let's see uh, if I got any more oh no that'll do yeah there we go that holds water as well so pretty much anything well i think if pebbles can hold it then anything can hold it all right <laughs> there's some fun things for you to play around with all right well i hope you've enjoyed that that was fun making all those things all right well that's it thanks for watching and i will see you next time